Hey, what's up, guys? Here, Soft Man Eight Nineteen here again with another video. Uh, it's going to be another spicy review. Today's review is going to be on um, Bee Sting Honey Habanero Hot Sauce. I picked this up for about four dollars and fifty cents. It's a little bit on the cheaper side, uh, but it sounded good and it looked good, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, this is a hot sauce imported from. Can't remember where it was imported from. Let me check here. Um, an import of Costa Rica. Um, I'll show you the label real quick. Sorry, guys. This camera is a royal pain in the ass. There's the label. The rest of the bottle looks like. Just a standard five ounce hot sauce bottle with the uh, white seal on the top. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and read uh, what it says in the bottle, and I'm going to go ahead and taste this. Uh, it's made with honey and habaneros. There's no chili extract or ghost peppers or anything else in it, so it's not going to kill me when I eat it. Uh, so if you guys are here to watch me in pain, you're probably going to be disappointed. If you want to see me in pain, go watch my uh, eating a ghost pepper video and also trying Mad Dog 357. Um, if you want to see me in pain. This is just me doing a review, so uh, just so you know. I'm going to read what it says on the label here. Um, Bee Sting brand is a real buzz. Uh, oh, here's the label. Okay. Half Moon Bay Trading Company, Bee Sting brand honey and habanero pepper sauce. Okay. This is an Asian slash Thai influenced pan cultural sweet hot pepper sauce with a hint of garlic, onion, lemon, Okay, <laughs> that was the end of the sentence. Hint of garlic, onion, and lemon. Excellent with rice dishes, curries, chicken, shrimp, and steak. With vegetables and tofu or anywhere you want a bit of Asian-style excitement. Okay. Excellent for grilling, uh, marinades, and glazes, and as a splashing and dipping sauce. Enjoy. Caution. This bee stings without warning. No artificial colors or flavors. Shake well. Uh, the ingredients in this sauce are... Corn syrup, water, honey, 21% carrot, 21%. Oh, it's 21% honey, I guess. Carrot, cane sugar, modified cornstarch, habanero peppers, onion, lemon juice, vinegar, cayenne peppers, salt, garlic, black pepper, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, 1% sodium, benzate, benzate and uh, as a preservative. Okay, sodium, benzate as a preservative. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop the seal on this and I'm going to go ahead and try it. So, apparently, let me read this again really quick. It's 21% honey and 2.7% habaneros, I guess. It's kind of difficult to understand where they're going with the label there, but where they're going with the ingredients. I mean, I don't really understand what they're trying to tell me, but go ahead and pop the seal on this and uh, try it. Does the shake well? It's awfully thick. It's kind of hard to shake, to be quite honest. It, it's thick as honey. It looks like literally just honey with peppers added to it. It's extremely thick. Thick and goopy. It looks good. Okay. It's about the best I'm going to be able to shake it up. Okay. A little foam seal there is wanting to pop off on me. Man, that is syrupy and honey. Honey-like. Mmm. Smells a lot like honey with peppers added to it. It's making my mouth water. It smells really good. All right, so i got my trusty sauce spoon here. Go ahead and try. Man, this is some thick shit. Okay. It looks kind of like sweet and sour sauce. Oh shit, I don't want to fill this too much. We know what happens when that happens. Okay. Give you guys a look at the sauce and the spoon there. It might be kind of hard to see, but it's orange and it looks a lot like sweet and sour sauce. Bring the camera back up here. It's easier said than done. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and try it.
That is freaking delicious. It's a bit spicy. Um, the spice on that um, is not that bad. It's actually already gone almost. Um, it does have a bit of a spice to it, but it is sweet. It is so sweet and so savory. My mouth is watering right now. This sauce is delicious. I would love to have some chicken nuggets with this. I would love to dip chicken in this. That's immediately what I think of is dipping, buying some McDonald's McNuggets and dipping them in this. This is a great sauce. It's really freaking good. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to have another spoonful. Um, the sad part is I really don't taste the flavor profile of all the ingredients. What I'm tasting is, is mostly honey. I'm tasting a lot of honey. Um, I'm also getting the spice and the a little bit of the flavor from the habaneros and I'm also getting the sweetness of that cane sugar but um, I'm not really tasting any of the carrot or onion um, I'm not tasting much cayenne either uh, it says there's black pepper in it too a lot of these ingredients I'm not tasting because they're overpowered by the honey they're just really overpowered by the sweetness of the honey and the spiciness of the habaneros so the onion lemon juice and uh, the cayenne and also the carrot. I'm not tasting any carrot at all in this. Uh, but even though I'm not tasting all the flavors, the flavors I am tasting are really good. Uh, so it is a good sauce. Um, I'm going to have another spoonful of it here. Man, that is a freaking good hot sauce. It's really sweet and savory and it's absolutely delicious. I definitely recommend you guys pick this up. Uh, it's Bee Sting brand honey and habanero sauce. My mouth is watering so bad, I can't hardly talk. But it is delicious, and it's definitely worth a pickup. It's really good. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more interesting videos from the Airsoft Man 819 channel, and I will see you later.